The eye is a marvel, helping us see the beauty of our world. Light reflected from an object passes through the visual path, that is the cornea, pupil, lens, and finally reaching the retina, the light-sensitive layer at the back of the eye. The optic nerve converts the light signals into electric signals and transmits them to the brain to correctly identify the object. The lens inside the eye may lose its transparency, becoming opaque and not allowing light to reach the retina. Opacity may happen due to age, injury to the eye or other eye disorders. This condition of opaque lens is called pediatric cataract, which is a rare eye problem in children. Globally, there are 2 lakh children who are blind because of cataract in both eyes. In developing countries, cataract in children is quite common and is seen in 1 to 15 children for every 10,000 children. Some reasons for cataract in babies are Intrauterine Infection of fetus Inherited disorders Or a metabolic disorder, that is, a systemic problem in the newborn baby. The causes of childhood cataract in older children may be Injury to the eye Drug-induced, a side effect of long-term use of topical or systemic steroids A complication after laser therapy or other types of eye surgery Inherited cataract due to genetic mutation in lens proteins there will be multiple tests that will be ordered to identify the cause of cataract and reviewed by a pediatrician. Vision development is incomplete as the cataract does not fully transmit light to the retina. The treatment for vision development is to remove the cataract by surgery under general anesthesia. If the child's eye has adequate corneal diameter and eye size, then the surgeon will replace the natural lens in the eye with an artificial intraocular lens IOL. In some children, the child's eye is still growing, and so the IOL is not placed. Next, the child's vision is facilitated using prescription eyeglasses or contact lenses. Doctors advise that cataract surgery in children should be done as early as possible to avoid deprivational amblyopia in which the child develops poor vision, which stays permanently as vision cannot be restored. Therefore, to avoid deprivational amblyopia, cataract surgery must be performed immediately. Children rehabilitated with eyeglasses or spectacles after cataract surgery need stimulation of their vision with eye patching exercises and vision stimulation therapies. The child will need regular change in glasses or contact lens power as the eyeball is still growing. Parents must visit the eye doctor for regular follow-up appointments to prevent and provide treatment for short-term or long-term complications such as glaucoma, visual path or pacification, or retinal complications. If your child has developed cataract, then it is important that you consult a trained ophthalmologist to get a comprehensive eye checkup done and receive early treatment to protect your child's vision.